That was a piece that I wrote a while ago to test uh, sample choirs. I put it into Overture 5 and set it to uh, Vienna Choir from VSL running through Vienna Ensemble Pro and the mere convolution reverb. And I think it's probably the best sound that I've gotten out of it yet. Now, to review what I did here, we've already uh, talked about this a number of times on the Facebook Overture 5 site. Um, but I basically just set four voices. I loaded up a soprano, alto, tenor, and bass voices with a piece. And then I set them each to the Vienna Ensemble Pro VST3 plug-in and set each of my voices uh, you know, to a different channel. Channel 1, you can see 2, 3, and 4. And then um, I opened up Vienna Ensemble. Let me get this out of the way. And when you do that and you have the mirror uh, installed, mirror just kind of opens right up with it. After I assign my voices here, and then uh, you know you have your mixer mode, and then uh, you'll have a veer of Vienna mirror mode that you can just click on and do all your settings here uh, in this wonderful tool that is now my favorite reverb by far. So uh, you can see it. So it lets you set up your stage and it gives you different mic placements on the stage with an assortment of mics that you can choose from. And you can choose to have those microphones in different places. Depending upon the uh, hall that you choose, you have different options for putting the microphones. This one ha has the main microphone. You can see uh, um, in this fourth row, but I, I can also put it in the conductor position if I want, or I can put it at the, you know, the, the back of the hall or even in the gallery. So you have the option of your main microphone, um, and then you have the option of a secondary microphone, and you can set them up however you want um, to get the best sound. Um, pretty cool. And now that what I can do is I can bring my stage up. And this one is the uh, Gates Head to the Stage uh, Hall 1. You have like about, I don't know, 15, depending on how many you buy, uh, you have like 15, 20 different stages, more than enough. Um, and what you do is when you have your instruments defined, they automatically place themselves on the stage and you can move them around. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So here, if I want if I, if I want my choir to be like, you know, more in the back or the front with only four voices, uh, there's not as much placement, obviously, than if I had a whole orchestra's worth of stuff here. But still, uh, the flexibility on, and uh, of being able to put this on the stage in the position by just dragging it, it's so wonderful compared to some of the ways you have to do it in other programs. Um, what else can you do here? Well, uh, I've got this thing set for uh, the... Uh, uh, the choir option. There's all kinds of EQ settings that you can use. Since I had a choir, I picked the EQ one. And you can go down here in your e room equalizer section. You can obviously set that however you want if you don't like how they set it for the defaults. I just use the default here. Um, and then uh, they can also give you give a grid uh, option here that puts a grid on top so you can finally place things on this grid. Um, and uh, you can take the titles away if you want. Um, and it shows you where hotspots in the, uh, the place in the hall would be. Um, and then, of course, uh, it allows you to, you know, twiddle your wet and dry settings all you like. And of, of course, and most important, if you don't like this hall, it gives you all these other choices. Not only um, does it tell you what the hall is, it gives you pictures of it. It gives you some information on it. It lets you uh, select, you know, where uh, your placements are going to be here. Oh, uh, it, it's just almost uh, too much to take in when you just load it up. And of course, uh, you can pick between uh, various rebird times. If, if you don't like the venue uh, sorting, it'll let you select the reverb time, walls by reverb time, and also it'll let you select them by location if you're if you know Germany and you know what all these things are. But you probably uh, would be most interested first uh, looking at what all the reverb times are, and then also they give you this little nice preview function.
and string. They'll let you do win -wins, woodwinds. And you can trust out some brasses. And some percussion. You really get a good feel for the uh, reverb when you do the percussion. So that's like a, uh, a short haul. Let's pick uh, um, a medium haul to a few. Do a percussion on that one. And let's take a longer haul. Uh, I don't know, do one we have. And let's pick one of the longer ones. That's pretty long. <laughs> but you can adjust it, of course. And you can set different different placements in there too. If you didn't like the front, uh, you can be under the dome, you can be in the back of the, the church or whatever. Oh, holy cow. Um, what a tool. I think I'm hooked and I doubt I'm going back to anything else after this. Um, it's just so easy to use. And of course, over here we can select, um, oops, get out of there and cancel. And here's where we select what uh, channel that I map each of the voices uh, to my Overture 5 uh, channel in. That's all you really have to do and just start writing. And uh, if you want, you can then bring up the mixer in here. And uh, I'm hooked. So that's a little, just a little taste of what this thing can do. I am really happy that I decided to uh, give this a shot.